I'm Bridget from Bridget's Scrap Bag and I make things from upcycled material. So, traditionally they'd have used a, a Hessian sack. I cut my sack in half and then we've got two cell edges, so those are neat, they won't fray, but the edges that are cut need to be hemmed. So these I've just turned over twice and tapped. Just a, a large rolling stitch, that is absolutely fine. Once I've done that, as you can see, I've then used a template and a mark pen and marked out the areas that I'm going to make in different colours. You don't want anything too large. Um, this is roughly, I know it's not a square, but it would be equivalent to something like a, a 15 centimetre square. Anything bigger than that, you may not be able to use a whole t-shirt. So to keep the colour, you need you, you don't really want anything a lot much larger than that. So I've then, like a patchwork, just marked out. What I do with the t-shirt is I cut out the panels so there's no sewing and then what you need to do is cut it into strips. So the strips on do it double. The strips need to be roughly an inch or two and a half centimeters. Once you've got your strips like this. I then use a cutting gauge, which is simply a piece of wood with a slot down the middle. Now the distance around from the slot to the next is roughly three inches. So wind your strip around the cutting gauge. Like this and it just makes it a lot easier to cut a lot of pieces roughly the same size. That bit I don't need and there were strips. Keep doing that and I would cut out all of the strips from the t-shirt before I start putting them onto my work. And as I say T-shirt fabric doesn't fray. You can use any fabric, traditionally anything would be used, um, but T-shirt fabric doesn't fray. So this is where I've started. And what we're going to do is simply push, push the pieces through the hessian. So start right at the edge. I've put in one panel already, so I'm just going to start on the next panel. So we leave a, a, roughly about three strands, push your proddy in to make a gap, so take your first strip, put the very end over that gap and just push. Pull it through about halfway and then count sort of three full strands across make another gap, take the other edge and push it through. So you're working from the back to the front. Here we go. Carry on, leave a gap of another sort of three, four strands, push a hole and just continue like that all the way across. And that really is all there is to. good way to make something rather nice from things that people would throw away. There, you can see how the shape's coming in on there. There we go, and it just matter of carrying on doing that same thing all the way across. And then the next row, and then the next row. So these are some of the things I make, some of the things I make for myself, and then some of the kits that I make so other people can make things. So this, these are rugs. So this rug has a nice pattern. This is all made from t-shirts. This rug is made from old wooden blankets. And this is a cushion cover. These are some little Christmas robin. 
and chicken. I've got red kits here, uh, wreath kits, and then the smaller ones.